Hello respected people. And welcome back to our respected minister channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and participate in the discussion. Sky News Australia tweet. Sam Marston's eye-watering $214,000 pay bump is bad optics for the incoming Governor-General and Anthony Albanese as ordinary Australians struggle through cost of living pressures, writes Caleb Bond. Hello. You left out the part where Ms Marston's remuneration as GG is on parity with the outgoing GG due to the fact that the ex-GG claimed a very very generous pension and SA supplement care of the ADF. Why does SKY continually lie to their audience? Johnny Miller. The incoming Governor General's wage will be higher because Marston does not receive other Commonwealth payments, such as the military pensions received by Hurley following his service in the Defence Force. The salary is in line with that of the Chief Justice of the High Court. Jackie. Premier Gladys Baraklian gave Police Commissioner a $93,000 the same day she froze wages for all the nurses and others who worked tirelessly through COVID. Not a peep out of Caleb Bond or any RW media. Colin Plowman. Oh Caleb, and you wear a tie to push out this nonsense. The total remuneration will be near what Hurley got, an equivalent to that earned by the Chief Judge of the HC. And the decision will be made by Parliament not the PM. Carolina Viper. It should be a voluntary role with expenses only paid. It's a do-nothing role. Only once in Australian history has the Governor-General dissolved Parliament, and it's an absolute certainty the incoming GG was chosen to ensure that fact doesn't change. An Albo captain's pick. Jim Hanna. Tell the truth. It's not a pay rise. She's getting the same pay as previous Governors General. It's your job to explain why, not to spread disinformation to provoke your audience. Oh, wait. That I is your job. This concludes our analysis of the Twitter exchange. Share your opinion in the comments below. If you found this video informative, then like it and share it with your fellow political enthusiasts and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on Australian politics. Thanks for being with us on Respected Minister, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay engaged and stay informed.